Hi and welcome to the Gadget Show Web TV. Right, it's time to take a first look and this week John has visited the tranquil cathedral city of Lichfield to test the rugged new Panasonic Lumix FT3. This is Panasonic's latest shockproof compact camera, the FT3. It improves over its predecessors, the FT1 and the FT2, in several ways. First thing is, it's more shockproof. It's now waterproof, down to 12 meters, shockproof to two meters. It incorporates extra damping around the lens, and it's freeze-proof to minus 10 degrees C. It also now incorporates a GPS system and an improved sensor although Panasonic wisely haven't increased the pixel count at 12.1 megapixels, it's actually slightly lower than its predecessor. One advantage of this is that the low light performance of the camera is better than earlier versions of it that I've tried. At 1600 ISO you get quite respectable pictures. And I think also in bright conditions like today, the colours are a bit brighter than the camera's predecessors. The uh, GPS tells me I'm at Litchfield Cathedral. I can even get my exact coordinates and bring up a compass if I want. Hmm. It's got a good macro facility as well, although I can't get close enough to these ducts. Overall, though, I don't think the image quality is quite as good as on a top-of-the-line compact like Panasonic's own TZ10, for example. You get more blue fringing around high contrast areas of the picture and overall the picture just isn't quite as sharp. You do pay some price for having that extra layer of toughened glass between the lens and what you're taking a picture of. Like the earlier models, it's got a 4.8x zoom lens and it can shoot HD video quite well actually, although uh, the movement's a little bit jerkier than you get on a proper camcorder. It feels a more responsive camera than the original FT1 I tried, which is good, and uh, overall the improvements to the ruggedness feel reassuring. Although we didn't test it to the full extent of its specification, it managed to survive some uh, mild kitchen and bathroom abuse reasonably well. I particularly like the uh, rubberized door that protects the memory card and battery compartment. I was, however, rather disappointed to note that the trim around the lens was already flaking off and we didn't test the camera very hard or use it very much at all. So clearly that's an area for improvement. The FT3 isn't a cheap camera, but as ruggedized cameras go, it's one that makes very few compromises particularly in terms of image quality. And assuming this trim defect is peculiar to my sample, it's definitely a good choice. 